<risa> ya estamos cansados, ¿no? Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number 38 for Early Intermediate. And today we're talking about the passive voice and the active voice. Mm. Or in Spanish it's called... La voz activa y la voz pasiva. Okay. So first of all, ¿qué tal, Cindy? Muy bien. Todavía ¿Sí? muy bien, sí. ¿Tienes un poco de calor ahora? Tengo calor un poco. Sí. Todavía. Normal. Pero... Los focos. Los focos, el sol. El sol, claro. Estar cerca de mí. Claro, sobre todo eso. <risa> tu temperatura corporal. Sí. Eso es lo que y más. mi energía, claro. Claro. Sí. Ok. So... We're talking about the passive voice and the active voice. First of all, we better clarify what on earth they are. Okay? Now, I want to give you my rudimentary move away from grammar explanation. <laughs> move away from. Move away from grammar, move away from the grammar um, explanation of what the passive voice and the active voice is. Right? The passive voice is when we don't know who's to blame for an action. We don't know who's to blame. And the active voice is when we know specifically who did it. The cluedo of grammar. So our relationship is like active voice. <laughs> You're always to blame. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, we have an active voice uh, relationship. relationship. Very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm always to blame. Yeah. yeah, and when Cynthia's done it, we never know him, who's done him. it. Yeah, she's a passive. Okay, aggressive. Now. Passive-aggressive. <laughs> Passive-aggressive, really which wrong. is... Um, okay. Yeah. Velvet glove, iron fist. Yeah. Still okay. sounds wrong. Bueno. So, what do I mean by... Okay. Active voice is this. The police arrested the boy. Active voice. Who did it? The police. Passive voice. The boy was arrested. Okay. Yes. Well, there are two types of passives. You've got the long one and the short one. The long one has the by and then who did it. Mm -hmm. So like the children were arrested by the police. Mm -hmm. So you, that's the long one. The long version. But then you can have the, sh the shorter one where you omit the perpetrator really. Mm. Yeah. So that and would that be, tends to be they the were more arrested. common. The tense and, and what happens in English is that we use it all the time. We love the passive voice and in Spanish they do not love the passive we voice. We do in use the passive voice but not that much, not as much as you do in English. And certainly not in conversation. Yes, it definitely. Rarely, rarely used in conversation. These sentences, um, I was given the keys, all of those things we don't say. Okay. For example, so, they gave me the keys. We use the they. Mm -hmm. So the, a good example, and somebody told me this, an example of understanding passive voice and active voice is this. The table was set, okay, or uh, the table was set by the woman, passive voice. Okay. The woman set the table, active voice, okay. So quite often, by the woman is left and the table was set. Yeah. The table was set at 12 o'clock. By whom, we don't know passive yeah so how do you overcome how to get away from the passive voice because one of the problems that we have Cynthia in English that we have or that I have that uh, we have in English oh, okay as English students of Spanish is that we literally translate as we yes. go yes yeah, of course, yeah so we're starting a sentence thing and hang on all oh, right so the table was set so la mesa fue puesta no? And of course that, that won't work. No. Can you say that? Of course you can. Would we understand? Of course we would. Would we say that? No, we wouldn't say that. Okay. So, yes, you can come across if you say la mesa fue puesta, but you sound posh right there. La mm. mesa fue puesta. Yeah. Sounds like a bit, yeah, sounds posh. I know I've said this before, but I always think of the, the, the passive voice like a tour guide. Yes. A museum. Yes. When, like when they really want to impress and they've got the off pat and they're saying this building was, you know, was erected, uh, this book was written, this, this yes. quadro was painted, uh, that'd be a painting. This quadro. Was painted, okay. Yes. So, 
Not so much in spoken Spanish, no. So all that we all have of to the, do... The, the typical sentence is like, um, I was getting my hair cut by, you know, I was given this, I was told this. We don't say anything like that. We say, they told me this, or somebody told me this. But if you don't know who, or you don't want to say who, you say, use the they. Yeah, yeah. So, so the, the, trick, the trick always is when you hear this, um, you know, um, Spanish is spoken, okay? This passive voice. Well, what you have to do is this, to, to get around it. There are two ways of overcoming the passive voice. One is to use the se, okay? Yes, okay. Like, you say, se for example, habla. Spanish is spoken, se habla. And it's like one speaks Spanish here. Yes. Yeah? Or Spanish speaks itself here, if you wanted to look at it that way, right? But that one works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't, depends on the context. But what works every time is putting the blame on who does it. Okay? Aquí hablan español. O hablamos, if you want to o say. O hablamos, yeah. In here we speak or they speak Spanish, okay? So as long as you put the blame, who is doing it? The door was opened. Okay, the door was opened. By whom? Pedro abrió la puerta. O la puerta se abrió. Yeah, so you've got to put the blame. Either the door opened itself. The door opened itself or somebody opened or it. Or somebody opened it. But if you, if you, my advice is this. If you are worried about the say, the thing, oh, how do I use it? Don't bother. Until well, you, we until do have you, a podcast about all the says. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You can look at that. You can look We've at got that. Got help sheets about the C as well. But in between times, whilst you whilst you have any confusion, just put the blame on somebody. The building was built in uh, put the, the blame 17th century. On active voice. That's what yeah. you want to say. No, yeah. no, on passive. Yeah, always, make it yeah. active. Make it somebody active. did this. Yeah. So if you if you don't know who built the building, you just say they. They built the building. Yeah. Okay, because we, we have a pretty good the idea there was more than one person building that building. So use they. Yeah. It's the these they. Yeah? So that's sure. all that you have I to agree. do. So just all oh, you're listening for is when you if there's no there's no perpetrator, as Cynthia says, there's nobody to blame. Put the blame on somebody. Yeah? Who did it? If you don't know, invent it. Invent just the use person. They we use it we use it as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's. That's a good example. Uh, how much time have we got? Because I'd like I to give you know. some examples and then we'll look. Right, brilliant. Minute. Two Cynthia, minutes. I'll give you some sentences and you just put the. Rather than the say, put the blame on, okay. on that, yeah? Yes. So, uh, the boy was arrested. Arrestaron al chico. Aha, okay. Um, the building was built. Construyeron el edificio. Okay. The table was set. Pusieron la mesa. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, let's have a look. The um, the car was broken into. Um, robaron el coche. No, broken into. Entraron en el coche. Mm-hmm. Para robar algo, no? Robaron el coche. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the uh, mm. just in it, just uh, out of interest. The car was broken. Different, isn't it? El coche estaba roto. Yeah, that's not. It's not the same. Was broken than broken into. Somebody exactly. broke into the car. Yeah. But the car broke itself. Broke itself. Yeah. Yeah. So it, that's a difference. So be careful with that because yeah. it isn't always just this was something that's a passive voice. Yeah. Okay. The uh, the book was written in the 17th century. Escribieron el libro en el siglo XVII. Mm-hmm. And if you if if you knew the author. And you could say, el autor el escribió. El autor escribió el libro en el siglo XVII. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the woman was told the information. Le dijeron la información a la mujer. Yeah. Yeah. So if you try and put that into, into directly passive voice, la, la mujer fue... No, we would not say fue that. Fue dicho. Okay, fue, which is... Fue dicha if something, but... Dicha, yeah, dicha, but it would be bizarre, wouldn't it? We really wouldn't say that at all. Or, like, a typical one that I've heard, I was given this. 
They gave me this. Me dieron esto. Me dieron esto en la entrada. They gave me this yeah. at the entrance. No, Rather I was given this. Yo fui dado esto. Yeah. <laughs> so be careful with that, eh? So put the blame on the person. Blame people. <laughs> blame them. It was them. Okay? It's okay here. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias. Thank you, Gordon. Vale, entonces. Hasta luego. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Adiós. Adiós.